Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to give permission to the users. So let's go together. Here is my PHP admin. We go to home. We click on user. So here is my user that I have created in the previous video. So if you want to know more, you go to see my video in my channel. It will see and you will understand. So in this case, I just edit it. I just edit user privilege. Okay. So if you want to give or change some permission on this user, you can go to edit privilege. Okay. You will see here is the full function of the user sa here. It means that group ball, group ball here, it means that when we check in here, it apply all the database in the server here. So how do we see it? Now let's try to log in as user sa and to see what, uh, how many database in here that can uh, apply it. So we go to same. In this case, I use same control and I go to PHP my admin and I scroll down. I log in as SA user and my password is 123. Save it. Okay. And I refresh it. I go to home, and you will see here is now I log in as SA user. And where we assign the global, and you check all function, you will see here you can access all database in here. So in this case, I want to show you user SA can access only one database in here inventory. Okay. So now I move back, I switch login as my root user again, okay, I move it back, save it, I refresh it, okay, now we log in as root user, we go to user account, here user sign, we click on edit, we uncheck here and check all because we want to, to apply only one database in here so you no need to check anything in global tab here so we uncheck it i save it okay so here is the tab database you click on it here's the database what database you want to see so i want to assign only inventory Select on it and click go. And here is the function you allow the user to select, to insert, to update, to delete, to create, to alter, to index many things in here. Or you give administration here, grant, lock table, many things. Okay. So in this case, I check all. I mean that a user sa here can do everything in database inventory so we check on okay click go so i refresh it again now i switch it log in as an sa user again so i go to here config php my admin I change to the user sa password one two three save it sorry I close it and I refresh it I go to home okay you will see here we are logging as user sa and you can see here is only one database in here if you want to see more database you can add okay you can add more so the next i will show you this user sa see only one inventory and then 
can you or can see only one database okay so in this case I check all so let me switch to root user again password empty save it and I close it I refresh it okay now we log in as root users so I go to user accounts I click on edit I go to database here is inventory here is our privilege on that so we edit on here and then we go to table so in here you just uncheck it if you check it it will apply all the table so you cannot limit the table so here in this case I just only one table I allow only one table for this user so I uncheck it and I save then I go to table here is the table I want to allow to see only one table here just click on it okay in this table you allow to select you allow to insert update okay reference or allow to delete create drop grant index alter create view show view trigger in here you can check in this case I want to select all the table here user can select the table okay so just only select if you want to add here you you want user to insert you can select and check here okay so in this case i just want to only one select or okay we can insert also so i click check here go okay let back i refresh to home we try to log in as an sa users so we change here so one two three save it save it close it and then you refresh it okay now log in as sa and you can see here inventory click on it okay you can see only uh, table T customer that this user can view it so how to we, we add more database for this user okay let I give you more example so now we switch to log in as a root user again and assign so root user save it I close it again to home and refresh it again okay you see here root user I go to user account I click on edit I go to database and I add one more database in here is cell database click go and I want to and I want this user see all Okay, we have full option on this database. Check all. If you want to limit to the table, you can uncheck here and go to the table here and add. Yes, so in this case, just check all. Click go. I go to home. Now I switch to SA user again. And you will see how many database inside. Save it. I refresh it again. Okay, you can see here more table, more database in here. Share. Okay. So that's all for my presentation. And please have to subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.